compensate for this, our main event of the evening. Henderson, five years the elder of Miles Jury, who is two inches taller and will have a three inch reach advantage. Once again, we get it over to Terry Cavanaugh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Three rounds in a lightweight contest. This contest is supervised by the Mohican Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation. Chairman of the Tribe, James Gelsner. Supervising page side, Michael Mazzulli and Brendan Cholua. And now to those in attendance and to those watching on Paramount Network, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall and officially weighed in at 156.2 pounds. He brings a professional record of 17 wins and four losses. Fighting out of San Diego, California, by way of Hazel Park, Michigan, please welcome Miles Fury Jury. And introducing his opponent across the cage in the red corner. He stands at five feet, nine inches tall and weighed in at 156 pounds even. He brings a record of 27 wins and eight losses to the cage. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, former world champion, Smooth Benson Anderson. Your third man inside the cage, Mr. Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, the referee. All right, guys, I've been through the rules in the locker room. I want to obey my commands at all time. I want to protect yourselves at all time. If you're already touched gloves, good luck to both teams. Back to your corners. Benson Henderson. Miles Jury. 17 and 4 record for Miles Jury. 27 career wins for Benson Henderson, who said, and I quote, Miles is breakable. Jury said, I can do some things to give Benson trouble. Here we go! Main event of the evening, Benson comes out swinging. Could we see a fast start from Smooth Benson Henderson? This is already faster than he normally starts. <laughs> it's kind of what I was throwing to you, partner. <laughs> He switches to southpaw. He came out traditional, and there he goes again. He told us in the meetings the other day that he may switch things up and come out in a traditional stance. He has done it quickly once or twice here in the first 30-plus seconds. Yeah, I can relate. I, I would switch a lot in my stance. And when I switched into my stance, I wanted to pull the trigger fast because I didn't feel comfortable there defensively. Interesting perspective. Especially in a day and age, Josh, where so many people are seamless going back and forth. Yeah, they're working on it. Things are getting, people are getting better at right. it. But we just saw something that's really tricky out of Ben that I've been doing for a while that I actually stole from him when I used to fight is that little front thigh punch. Yeah. Little front thigh punch, little side leg kick, and his leg kicks are nasty. I take it from experience. Yes. Vicious. And he put a heavy one on. Miles Jury already, and you can see some redness above the knee on the left leg of Miles Jury. Talented, talented kid. Alliance MMA, ended up in Power MMA for a bit. Very close friends with Little Heathen, Jeremy Stevens. Lived with Jeremy for a long time. In fact, first went to San Diego to be a training partner of Jeremy Stevens. Eric Del Fierro and Miles saw each other at a wedding and he said come on back kid and he did and he's here now as part of that fight alliance team you hear it all the time fighters they've been with their longtime coach miles with del fiero for a long time and then just more fighters started coming and he started feeling that he wasn't getting the attention that he, that he used to get and then they start thinking something's wrong and then they leave and they're just not the same fighter anymore now that he's back he said everything's been good we talked about it we squashed it we just got things out in the open and you can tell by the way he walks around now he's a lot more confident and just he feels good about the relationship back in alliance and there was a ton of hype 
on Miles Jury when he made it to the big time. Benson Henderson is off to a fast start. Throwing a lot of shots here in the first part of round number one. I'd like to see Ben go back to that leg kick. You can see they're having a little bit of an effect on Miles Jury. week, Josh, talked to you about the fact that he finally had to realize that, that Eric Del Fiero was only one man. Yeah, there's so many great fighters at Alliance and so many guys over time fighting for titles that there was only so much time in the day. So there was never a, a disrespect or an ignoring thing. It was just the fact the man can only spread himself so thin. Yeah, but what happens is, and I can speak from experience, I used to train at AK, and I still go by there every once in a while, obviously. But Javier was Javier Mendez was one man. Absolutely. And you can think about all the guys who went through that gym, right? And I, I used to get all the attention because I was the only UFC fighter at the time back in 2000. And then slowly a couple other guys came and they got some attention and then it slowly more came and we started building a, a big team. And that's exactly what Alliance did. You know, like Dom Cruz and you know all the other guys and nice combination by Miles, interrupt my talk. <laughs> But a good combination there. But that's that's exactly what he went through. When you're young, you don't see that. Yes. He's matured as a person. He's developed as, a, as an athlete and a fighter now. And he understands where he stands now at that gym. He can certainly be a huge factor at 155 here inside the Bellator cage. Final minute of round number one of our main event. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. This would not be considered a slow start for Benson Henderson. This is an extremely fast start for Benson. Of course, we'd like to see it pick it up a little bit more. But Miles needs to also start a little bit faster. Yep. He's starting to open up. Nice straight left, though, right there by Benson. Highly decorated in his MMA career. And Aiden even used the hockey reference. He wants the hat trick of titles in major organizations. Round two of our main event of the evening. Three Arena, Dublin, Ireland. Mike Colbert, Josh Thompson, Aiden Power, Paul Semtex Daly. Red gloves for Benson Anderson, blue gloves for Miles Jury, the native of Royal Oak, Michigan. You heard Benson's coaches say, kid, we had a good first round, let's turn it up now. I mean, I gave the first round to Ben also. Miles has got to pick it up himself. This has to do with the cobwebs. It's your first, it's your first fight in Bellator. New stage, you're the main event, you're fighting Benson Henderson. That's a lot to take, to, to take in. Huge opportunity. Miles talked about on frequent occasion. Nothing to lose. No. You know, you, you could say that, but there's so much to gain that there is a lot to lose. Because Miles Jury can put himself right into a title picture if he can pull off a victory over Benson Henderson, one of the best at 155 in the world. It's been a stand-up battle thus far. Miles Jury, the first fighter to knock out Takenori Gomi in Japan. That was back in September of 2014. He was on the verge of his own title shot when he fell to Donald Cerrone years ago. So he has been near the top of the mountain before. And man, there is some redness on the left leg of Miles Fury Jury as he switches to Southpaw. Yeah, those leg kicks are having an effect. You can see he's switching his stance back and forth, but he's also hesitant to pull the trigger with his hands. Which sometimes means that he can't set his weight because the leg's feeling a little injured. Benson with a nice one-two. Stepped into that jab, and he throws the kick again. Henderson able to get those kicks off so quickly. No wasted motion. 
economy of movement. Midway point of this three round fight is upon us. Benson Henderson looking for his fourth straight Bellator victory. The thigh punch. Miles has got some of the best jujitsu I've seen, especially when he was younger. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised I haven't seen him at least threaten to take down or press the, press the fence. Both men black belts in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Benson, a black belt under John Crouch, also a black belt in Taekwondo. Miles, a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu since December of 2013. Following the kick up with the left hand. You know, everybody talks about Benson's transition into Bellator in the rough road early. That said, he fought at 170, which is not his natural weight class against Andre Korshkov. Had to win over Patricio with the leg injury. And you know what? That has happened before. People have checked kicks and had their leg broken. That was Anderson Silva. Michael Chandler split decision. Split decision with Patricky. I mean, some really good fights and then wins over Huerta, Zayed Awad, Piccolotti, and Henderson hopes tonight jury. He's fighting a better fight this fight than he has in his last couple of fights. In the Patricio fight, a lot of people thought he was losing also. Yeah. You know, Patricio was landing the cleaner shots, landing the better leg kicks. Was, they had him winning. He obviously, I think, won the first round. Then he threw a kick and Benson checked it, ended up breaking his uh, leg. So that gave Ben the win, but people look and say, man, Patricio is actually winning at 155. But then later on, we find out Patricio's got the power to stop somebody like Michael Chandler with a knockout. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Body shot. Set for the third and final round of our main event of the evening. Five minutes remain. Oh, double kick from Henderson early here in round three. He has done a ton of damage to the lead leg of Miles Drew. And again, same spot. And the thing about Benson is he throws that kick, Josh, from orthodox or southpaw and lands it in the same place. And no switch. Yeah, he'll throw the same, he throws the same spot from that position. Then also, too, what he'll do is he'll fake that, and then he'll come across with his back leg across your back leg, which is something most people don't do. Getting kicked in that back leg is, is it's an unconditioned leg. So those kicks hurt probably twice as much because you're not used to getting kicked in that back leg. One thing he does very well is mix up his kicks. And that kick hurts twice as much as a normal Benson Henderson kick. That's nasty. A spin and a miss by Smooth Benson. There it is, that little. Yeah, to the thigh again. A little jab to the thigh. Just one more thing for you to think about. Yes. That's all it is. And, and we talked earlier in numerous fights, Josh, about when you are able to mix things up. And in here, Benson's mixing up his striking techniques, but if it's the entire arsenal of your MMA capabilities, when you mix things up, you oftentimes have great success. And he's kept Miles kind of guessing by mixing up his strikes here thus far tonight. Yeah, I'm surprised Miles' corner hasn't told him to to change up the game plan. Let's make adjustments, let's change this up, because this isn't working. Oh, heavy body kick. Two minutes into the third and final round. Henderson, much like Chris Cyborg, now a member of the Bellator family would like to do, 
once a world title in three major organizations. It's a race. It's a race to see who can there get there go. first between those two. And of course, the lightweight champion puts his 145-pound belt on the line tomorrow exclusively on the zone. In his first fight of the Featherweight World Grand Prix against the Spaniard Juan Archuleta. Head kick and a slip, right back up. There's been nothing slow about him oh. tonight. Straight left, right down the pipe. That rock miles a little bit. Best shot of the fight right there. Henderson has been ultra aggressive throughout this fight against Miles Jury. And he knows Miles dangerous. Ton of respect for his opponent coming into tonight. He told us earlier in the week, Josh, put on boxing gloves, I beat him. We put on a gi, I beat him. We wrestle, I beat him. Whatever I do, I beat him. So far, he's beaten him. But there's still one minute and 25 seconds remaining. You hear the crowd getting a little restless. Well, we got, we got the fast start from Benson Henderson. Now we just got to get what Paul Daly was talking about. We got to start getting some finishes. Because I feel like he can't. I think a lot of the fights he ends up going the distance, he's content with what doing with what works. Instead of picking up the tempo and trying to get that person out of there with the, with the success that he's having with whatever he's using at, at that moment, he should try doing that more to get these guys out of there. Benson has 12 career wins by decision, which just validates the point that you just made, Josh. Spins again. Final 20 seconds now. And Jury able to connect. Define the fight. Stare at your past and the future goes flying by. Certainly, Benson Henderson has defined this fight tonight. Here is Terry Cavanaugh with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 30-27 in favor of your winner. By unanimous decision, Benson Smooth Henderson. Great performance tonight by Benson Henderson as he earns a unanimous decision victory over Miles Jury.